Well, hello travelers and welcome to our walk around Wednesday. We have made our way to the Contemporary Resort because we are going to start our deluxe tours of all the resorts. Couldn't get a Magic Kingdom pass today, but this should be the last week. I've already got some for next week, so we will be back at the Magic Kingdom next week. So come along and let's see what the Contemporary has to offer us for a deluxe resort. So let's go ahead and start at the front and we'll work our way back. We'll go through the main tower right here. Take a look at the garden wing. Take a look at the um, Bay Lake Tower um, Vacation Club wing. And then we'll finish off back at the wreck area and see what that has to offer. So let's go ahead and start right here. As we walk into the beautiful contemporary, we'll look right over here to the right hand side. Not many people answered my question when I was at the Caribbean Beach. I mean Coronado Springs, they have the largest um, convention center on property. The Contemporary has the second. And then of course one of my other favorite fun facts here of the Contemporary is the world's largest non-working Mickey Mouse watch, which I mentioned every video I've ever been here, I do believe. Because it's one of the features I think everybody overlooks. But definitely make a little trip out here. And they just replanted him, so he's just now growing into the face of his watch. There's a little winding mechanism right there in the center of the screen. Then you come over, you see the round face of the watch right there. You can see him perfectly. He's right there. And then a strap that way with the buckles. And then a strap this way. So that is the world's largest non-working Mickey Mouse watch. Now as we enter the carport area, port to sheer, port to cashier. I'm going carport still. Remember to look up. You never know who you may see up there. This is where the bus transportation for the airports will come. The mirrors, buses, and stuff like that will pick up and drop off here. Also, Ubers, Lyfts. Any deliveries you get will be coming to here and you'll have to pick them up from Bell Services. But that is, like I said, just look up. You never know who you're going to see. As you enter the beautiful contemporary right there, that's the first sign you'll get. The doors will open and you'll be right here in the lobby. Of course, mid-century modern lobby. Over here to the right is Joffe's Contemporary Grounds. I should get a cup, but I don't need any right now. Um, they open at 6 a.m. and open until 10.30 at night. So you can get your coffees there. Of course, this is your main lobby. There is your bell services right there. And right down that way is the bus depot. Valet parking and um, bell services right there off to the lobby. We're going to walk this way down to the bus stop. Made our way down here to the bus stop. Remember, here at the bus stop and at the Contemporary uh, monorail service is to the Magic Kingdom and to Epcot to T to the ticket transportation or transportation ticket center and then you have to catch a switch over monorail over to Epcot there is no bus service from the contemporary to the Magic Kingdom or to Epcot so you got to remember that and you also have to take a transfer bus if you're going to one of the water parks since Blizzard Beach is closed right now Typhoon Lagoon is open you'll have to take a bus from here to Disney Springs and from Disney Springs over to Typhoon Lagoon. And did you know there's rules for boarding the bus when there are uh, mobility devices that are in need? So remember to follow the rules of the bus driver. If there is any confusion, just look up at the screens above and it'll tell you exactly when the next buses are, how to get to your destination that you're going to. So it's all right there. It's very easy to follow so you won't get lost. But if you do want to go to Magic Kingdom, the easiest way, I still say it, is take the pathway right here. See the blue sign right there? Just keep following that. It's about a 14 minute walk to the Magic Kingdom. If you catch the monorail here to the Magic Kingdom, it's going to be about a 25 minute ride because you have the TTC stop, the um, Polynesian stop, Grand Floridian stop and then Magic Kingdom so sometimes it's a little bit quicker to walk
We have made our way back into the lobby. By the way, we now have four five-legged goats in the building. Does everybody know where they are? There's one here in the lobby. But you'll come around this way. This will take you to the elevators. And this over here will be the check-in right over there. Make sure to look on here. You never know who you may find. I'm actually filming the Monday after Easter, so they still have their Easter display. Right off the lobby is Steakhouse 71, don't forget. There's the Omero slot right there on the back. Bottle water filling on the other side. Head down this way, and you're going to see all the artifacts right here for Steakhouse 71 on the wall, which we've explained in other videos. But if anybody has any questions, just leave them down below. Remember, Steakhouse 71 is open till 1.30 and then reopens at um, 4.30 or 5 for dinner. So, other than that, you can come down to the bar. There is a selection at the bar you can get. Looks like they're having a meeting in there, so we won't go any further. But if you come to the bar, you can get um, light bites and drinks there. And also in the um, alcoves over here, part of Steakhouse 71, we know Steakhouse 71 used to be the game room. But do you know what used to be on this side of Steakhouse 71? Leave it in the comments down below. This one also might be a little difficult. Okay, back up the hallway here, back to the lobby. We are heading to the escalators. Uh, you see the artwork in the very back. I will go ahead and take you down there. I know I've told you guys this before. But if you go down here, those two pictures right up there on the very top used to hang in our presidential suites of the contemporary. There are two original Andy Warhols right there. Back to the escalators. Right here, right off of the lobby, we're going up to the second floor, which might be one of my favorite floors of the contemporary because it's always nice and quiet. Always a nice place to relax. Always a nice place for the kids to run around and burn off some energy. And there's a ton of bathrooms on this floor. So if you can't wait downstairs for a bathroom or upstairs for a bathroom, come down to the second floor. There's plenty of restrooms. Okay, right over this way, there's restrooms down at the end of that hall. There's restrooms down at the end of that hall. As you can see, there's plenty of seating area here. Restrooms down at the end of that hall. California Grill check-in right there and then the restrooms right beside that we're gonna come back and talk about this but of course you know Michelle always loves it when I come with her because this is the ballrooms of America and I think everybody that has ever done a video on the contemporary will tell you this is where Richard Nixon gave his I am not a crook speech we have made our way to the California Grill desk. You can only get to the California Grill from the second floor. They have to send you up in their own private little or keyed off elevator here on the second floor. So if you're going to go to California Grill, got to come here. You can't get to the 15th floor. Also, if you've eaten at California Grill anytime during service, from the time they open till they close, you can go back up and watch the fireworks up at California Grill. So even if you ate at five o'clock, just come back to the desk right here show your receipt and 15 minutes before the fireworks they will get you back up there so you can watch the fireworks foodie tip right here if you don't mind sitting at the bar it is a first come first serve you come right here you put your name in for first come first serve and they will get you up to the bar benefit of the bar you can either have appetizers or you can have the three course meal whichever and you can still see the fireworks during or um, go back up to see the fireworks using that same receipt. So the bar is a great option when you have two, one, or just a smaller group. And if they got room up there, they will send you up. Another fun fact about the contemporary second floor is this is the original um, convention center area. And this is all America themed ballrooms of America, Grand Republic ballroom. They also do the density institute classes here. So that is all on this floor. Anything, Anything named Fantasia will be down in the new building. Once you go down this hallway, turn to the right, and it'll take you straight that way. So now, let's head up to the fourth floor. 
Now remember here in the contemporary, this uh, escalator that I'm on, that goes from the second floor to the fourth floor, no third floor stopping for the gym. So remember, gym is still only elevator only. And here we come up to the shops. Hey look, there's the boss. Mickey that is. Okay, we got BBG right here, which is the only acronym used on Disney property. It is for Bayview Gifts because we are lucky enough to have an incredible view from the shop of Bay Lake. But that is Bayview Gifts. Then right over there is Fantasia. Uh, those Mickey ears are 28 feet tall. Does anybody know why they're 28 feet tall? Leave it in the comments down below. Also, don't forget at the top of the escalators or usually at the bottom, they will have all their events going on for the contemporary. We'll be right here. It's got a little dollar sign. It's an extra cost, but the movie's located in the under the stars right there, located in the movie court. Which, and it's Sunday, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays they will have movies. And this will probably change because they will probably change to new April movies. Great 2024 gifts right there. We got some of the Easter right there. Of course, Chef Mickey's plushes and all kinds of good stuff. They have a character artist here. Right there are their cost. These character artists are usually here during the day, 9 to noon or 9 to 11. And then someone comes back at 5 and get, works from 5 to 9. And then right over here, more of BBG. Fantasia right over here. And who remembers when this used to not be here? I do. It used to be all sitting. And they used to have pin events on Friday nights. Because this Fantasia used to be where the game room is now. But this is Fantasia right here. We stepped into the um, BVG real quick to show you some of the contemporary merchandise. We have dresses, coffee mugs, ears, lounge fly bags, of course the Tervis tumbler. And then we got our Tommy Bahama shirts right here. Contemporary, contemporary. And then, of course, Chef Mickey's. How can you not leave here without getting a Chef Mickey? We got Mickey. We got the hats. We got the towels. We got the aprons. Of course, the autograph book. So when you go have breakfast, you can get all the characters to sign your book. Ornaments, magnets, even phone cases. And then you come over to here. And we got the Incredibles pin right there. The Mary Blair inspired Mickey and Minnie incredible shirt and of course the luxurious robes from the contemporary. Now Fantasia is mostly toys and IP merchandise will be found in here. It's for the big kids and the little kids alike and there's that beautiful mural in the background. And then right off to that side is the marketplace right over here and usually there will always be a trivia that you can answer to get a button. Just off the fourth floor lobby is the fourth floor fireworks viewing area. There are some chairs down here at the end. This is a complete deck. You see the monorail beams right over top. Bay Lake Tower over that way. The only thing I don't like about this deck, and I'm sorry, but there's a smoking section right over there. But just look at these views you would have for the fireworks. Got to get here early to get those chairs. But if you do... It's a great view. This is where Highway in the Sky, it used to be a progressive dinner that Disney offered on the monorail line. This is where they used to come for their dessert parties. But you would get, look at that, right there underneath. You can look at the tires and everything. This is why it's my favorite um, deluxe resort. I will stand on that. Oh, you can see the train way in the background going around. I don't even think I can focus that far in. The castle, you'll see the fireworks. You'll hear the trains. Yeah, it's just magical. I'm sorry. It's just magical. And there is that sky bridge that goes from the main A-frame building over to Bay Lake Tower. And like I said, from the 4th 
to the fifth floor over there. We have made our way back into the lobby and we're going to head down this way. Right over this way. And we are heading to the game room. And I'm going to show you where their penny presses, their fuel rods, and any collectible coins can be found. But it's on the back side. This used to be all of Fantasia. But when they made Waves of American Flavors downstairs, they had to move the game room up here and then put the restaurant down there. And right there is the fuel rod station right there. And then you come over here. And there is the collectible coins. And then you can get your dog tags. And then of course your penny presses are right here. Let's take a look. We got Chef Mickey there. We got the brooms, Mulan, Stitch, Mini Mickey, Timothy the Mouse, um, up Aladdin right there. And then over on this one we got Chef Mickey's, is that Cinderella or, I'm not sure which one that is. We got Mickey and of course, let's just everybody, we'll go ahead and get that right there. That's the one we need. And then is that Merlin, Ratatouille, Bill, and Fantasia Mickey. And the cost of these is right there. And then from over here, you got the beautiful monorail that goes overhead. And then you got the entry right over here to the game room, which is open at 8 a.m. and closes at 11 for the game room. Of course, the beautiful Mary Blair mural right there, 18,000 tiles on all four sides. And that is where the original five-legged goat is. The other two five-legged goats are in BVG now. And when you come to visit there, you can find those five-legged goats there. And actually just look on the murals on the back wall. That's where the five-legged goats are. Okay, we have taken a look at all that. Let's head over this way to Chef Mickey's and take a look at their quick service and all that over here. You all know Contempo Cafe is one of my favorite, has one of my favorite sandwiches and soups over here. But you know what, before that, let's head up the elevators to take a look at the um, gym on the third floor. But before I do that, we get to go look at the beautiful Wish. That's the ship we got in the resort is the wish right there okay let's head up to the third floor i meant let's head down to the third floor we have made our way to the third floor of the contemporary only thing on this floor for guests is the fitness center right there in the corner um only way to get to the fitness center is by elevator so just remember that one no escalator elevator only Little trivia question. Anybody remember what this office, that is now office, what this used to be? Leave it in the comments down below. This might be a tough one. Don't forget to look for the decorations in the elevator. It is the contemporary and the monorail. And listen, we're almost there. And Mickey even tells you what floor you are. We have made our way over to the outer rim bar right here. Uh, usually starts around four o'clock. They serve drinks, no foods or anything like that. Look, all's right over here is Contempo Cafe, where you can get your foods and snacks and stuff like that. One of my favorite quick services. Me and Michelle got to come back and do a review of this again. We've done it once, but it's been a while, and I love their four cheese grilled cheese and tomato soup. And of course, we are home to Chef Mickey's right there. Let's check out the pricing right now for Chef Mickey's. Chef Mickey's is now $66 for dinner. Um, and they start at 5 to 9.30 right there for dinner. And that is the entry into Chef Mickey's right down that way. That's still one of my favorite. It's probably my favorite character mural on property. Okay, so this is the Mary Blair mural right here. And this is where um, a lot of you folks have said that the Mammoth Club, Molly and them, had given us a shout out. Because I actually seen them over here filming. And I gave them a little fun fact that not many people know about. But if you look right there in those brown tiles, that is the signature tiles of all the artists that worked on this mural. And Mary Blair's is up at the top. They took the um, slick 
from the ceramics, wrote their names out, and then fired them on there. So that is what I showed them that day that they gave us the shout out. Okay, we are heading back downstairs and let's head out. Let's just go take a look at the garden wing. Um, really, the only thing at the garden wing that is different is um, they have the laundry out on the second floor of the garden wing. Now remember over in DVC, they do have laundries over there at um, Bay Lake Tower, but those are for the DVC members and most of the units already have laundry in them. So we are going to, if you ever stay at the Contemporary and the main tower right here and in the garden wings, we're gonna show you where the laundry facilities are for there. Information and resort boards are everywhere. We are, remember, we're in the convention hotel. We have a convention, so we always have information for all of our guests to see. Made our way back outside. Right there is the pool area. The ping pong table's up here because everybody kept hitting the balls into the lake. So they brought the ping pong table up here. And now we're heading right over here to the garden wing. One thing I always like to say is that as a deluxe resort guest here, um, you can actually get to your outer room underneath the canopy and not get wet. Unlike some of those other deluxe resorts out there. But look here, if it rained, not getting wet. I'm just poking fun at those other ones. Am I? Am I really? Okay, so let's head over here to the garden wing. I love the garden wing. I think it's a very relaxing vacation. It's not as loud. It's not as bolsterous. Um, one thing I forgot to tell you guys. A little fun fact that not many people know is that the contemporary with the, the California grills all the way at the top. But the top two floors of this building are for concierge. We have an atrium concierge concierge level floor and then we have a club level concierge which are just suites they can't see down into the resort that's at the very top right underneath California Grill but we have two concierge levels and over here at the garden wing right here behind me there are actually concierge rooms there also that can go up to the 12th floor and enjoy those amenities so you don't have to be on the 12th or 14th floor to enjoy concierge. You can also be in the garden wing to enjoy concierge. There's our pal Mickey showing you the way for the running path still right over there. At the end of the um, garden wing there is a smoking section for you. And we are now on the second floor and of course it's incredible steam just like the main atrium building. We are making our way down this way towards the laundry. And here's one of those suites right there that get to enjoy um, all the amenities and this is 50 the 500 and this 51s 52s 53s 61 62 63 rooms are in this garden wing there used to be this is a south garden wing used to be a north garden wing but they tore that down to build the tower okay and right around this way and this is the laundry room for the um, contemporary tower and contemporary um, garden wing right here very nice all ran by um app um with barcodes and stuff like that but it's very nice got the schedules right up there can't beat it okay so we have taken a look at bay lake tower we have taken a look at the main tower right here and all that it has to offer we've even went into the garden wing so i could show you the laundry here at the contemporary it offers so many things. Like I said, sit back by the lake to watch the electrical parade. It's just a nice, relaxing resort to me. I still say it's my favorite out of all the deluxe. And I know a lot of people are going to say, Todd, you are crazy. But I absolutely love it here. Travelers, since this is our Walk Around Wednesday um, resort tour, don't forget we have a merchandise drop today at 5 p.m. Eastern. So make sure if you're interested in any merchandise, it will be dropping at 5 p.m. Eastern. Look there. I got the boss looking over my shoulder. Now I did make my way over to the Contemporary a little earlier this morning, early this morning, so I could take a look at the pools. I never get to show you guys the pools because there's always folks in them. But here at the Contemporary, we have three pools. So we are going to go check those out. And there is some differences in the pool. So I wanted to share that with you guys so you know which pools you can 
and which pools you can't use. So let's start in the um, Bay Lake Tower DVC building right here. If you come this way, they have all kinds of amenities. Um, they've got bocce ball, a putt-putt green, chess boards, um, connect four, right over there. Over on the other side, they got a pool table, shuffleboard court, and all of that can be used by guests of the DVC tower and guests of the contemporary tower. So remember that you can come over from the main tower and use those amenities. And then if you walk over here, we have the pool at the DVC tower. That is one thing that only DVC members can use. The tower guests cannot use this pool, but the DVC members can. DVC members can also use the two pools that we're going to go see over at the Contemporary. So just remember when staying here at the Contemporary are the beautiful DVC Tower right here. It's sunrise. It's so beautiful. Those guests can swim in this pool right here. This is the DVC pool right here. Um, they have two slides, a little one right over here which is actually for a handicap um, accessible guest. And this slide right here. And then back over this way, they have their own bar and quick service right over there, along with restrooms and stuff right over there. But this, like I said, is only for DVC guest members. And for all you joggers and fitness people out there, we have a running and jogging path or walking path all throughout the resort they have a children's play zone here at the um, splash zone right back there at um, the DVC pool and here's another look of it and as you can tell right there it's a zero entry and right across the way is their um, cove bar right over there which serves foods little light bites and drinks and stuff like that but one of the neatest things that I we have here at the DVC tower is we have charcoal grills for our DVC family and our contemporary tower family and garden wing family. Everybody can use these grills over here. And um, we actually sell hot dogs and hot dog buns in the um, contemporary market. But look at these views and it is gonna be sunrise so I'm gonna try to get so I don't blind you guys. But it's right on the lake. absolutely beautiful look at that so this is your view and you can have your cookout right here at the barbecue grills and going back this way to the recreational okay so now let's go take a look at the contemporary pools another thing I forgot to mention this pool is open from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. and there is a spa I believe there's a jacuzzi in the back I've never actually ever been inside of these fences because I'm not a DVC member. And more recreational features. Like I said, there's the shuffleboard court. Cornhole. Now I can remember. And you will get all the stuff that you need to play the games and all the extra stuff. Even the grilling tools that you will need for the grills. Uh, there is a community hall, which we will be going to later, that all guests can use. Not just DV guests, DVC guests, but all guests of the contemporary can use We will start at the beginning of this pool. Um, you can see that there is a splash zone right over there it, at this time. It's temporarily under construction. They're doing some repairs over there. We will come by this way and I'll go ahead and show you the sandbar. And they do serve burgers, hot dogs, turkey Cuban sandwich. Uh oh, I might have to try that. Barbecue pork, quesadillas, garden salad. They've changed some of this menu. That looks really good, really good right there. But of course, your Mickey's, and then more of the sandbar right there, nachos, mixed fruit cups, all that good stuff. But this is here, and its hours are from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. So this is right by the pool, and this is the main pool right here.
Now we are not, of course, not going in because they are not yet open. Uh, we do, they do have a slide right here. More of the pool. They have a jacuzzi, as you can see right over there. I'm at the tip of my fingers. Um, as you can see, there are also two um, cabanas right here. These can be rented out for the day. Um, you have to get with the recreation department. This one, this one, and there's an umbrella one. Just an umbrella, just past the slide over that way. We'll see if we can get a view of it. But this is the main pool. And this is open from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Now this pool can be used by everybody. DVC and contemporary guests. So not just contemporary guests, but also the DVC members can come over here and swim. But that is our contemporary pool. And if you're needing a little libation after a day at the park or during your swimming day or relaxation day, right here at the sandbar bar, as I like I call it, um, we have our drinks right there. And this is the entrance to the sandbar. Now it is temporarily closed, but if you look right there, there is a flagman right there. And if you look up there, there's flagmans all along the top of the ceiling. So make sure you, it's like a little puzzle. You can sit and figure out what they're trying to say in their flags. And of course out here at the marina, they also have more games connect for there's a pool table right over there. There's our beautiful dock, boat dock, which we will talk about a little bit later in the video. We will come back out to see this because it is back operational, but in a little bit different way. Then of course we got a foosball table. Heading right over here, plenty of seating. Beautiful area just to sit by the lake. Just enjoy the breezes that we have right now, the beautiful weather, as you can tell. Blue skies so far today. But we're heading right over to this pool. The most iconic pool on property. Straight ahead, by the way, are the volleyball, sand volleyball courts right over there. So those are ready for play this morning. Come this way. Now, this is the only pool that opens at 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. is right here. It's going to be a little hard to see because of the sun blaring in on us but this pool right here see if i can there we go that pool right there two cabanas um it's more of a quiet pool but everybody can swim in it it is three to five feet deep five feet in the middle and this is the original pool for this resort this pool has been here since the magic kingdom opened and since the contemporary open so this is the original original pool this pool right here the main pool has gone under refurbishments and different looks and feels, but it used to be a rectangle. And now it's got all kinds of twists and turns. They just turned the water on. Look at that garden wing right over there. Beach lounges right there with sand, sand buckets and play area. Great spot to watch the electrical light parade because it's right out there at night. So always remember what time you're going to be watching that. But this is the pool. Oh, great shot here. So there's that other cabana right there. You seen the two cabanas? This is the pool. Uh, of course, the beautiful, iconic contemporary right there. Uh, where the fountains are right there is where the jacuzzi and that white umbrella on the other side is also a rentable space. Um, when you rent the spaces, they'll have drinks and uh, light snacks i believe and then there'll be a attendant that will take care of all you needs that you need towels food all that good stuff so um, like i said you have to get with the recreational apartment to be able to get on um, one of those last but not least on our pool tour uh towel use towel return you do not have to bring your towels from your rooms um, most all of disney resorts there is towels by the pool and a return for the towels by the pool. So you don't have to take your towels out of your room and bring them to the pools. Let's take a look one more time. Don't forget at the Contemporary, they do have um, a marina so you can rent pontoon boats here. And this is also where the fireworks cruises take off from 
which we recently had the pleasure to be on one with Mark and Julie. And thank you once again for that fireworks cruise. It was absolutely a core memory of Disney for us and the family. Uh, right here is the dock, which I told we told you guys we'd talk about in a little bit. This is where the boat surfaces will set sail from. At 3 p.m. it starts. The boats only go to the um, Wilderness Lodge or Wilderness Campground. No boats to the Magic Kingdom. Only Wilderness Lodge or Wilderness Campground. And there you can catch a boat to the Magic Kingdom. So that is a little difference in their boating system. Also at the marina is where you will catch the fishing excursion and boat rentals. You can actually go to that um, website right there and they can help you with that. Or you can come over here to the boat nook. Because this is where you catch your fireworks cruises. Fireworks cruises now start at 4.49. Uh, guided bass fishing excursions. And rental of the pontoons are right here. So just make your way down to the marina. And they can help you with all of those items. Also down by the pool, they also have lockers and restrooms um, that you can change. And I think there's showers in the restrooms. I'm going to go check the men's ones. But here are the lockers right here. And yes, right over here by the lockers are the two restrooms and there are showers in there. So if you're having to come in a little bit early and want to go swimming, you can get changed there and put your stuff in the locker until your rooms are ready or until unless you've left. And then you can come swim and get changed in the bathroom until you head home. I have made my way to the pool bar because this is actually a Disney dining quest we need to do. And I need a little lunch, so let's try the pool bar. Made my way to the pool bar for our Disney dining quest. I got a light bite for lunch. I just got off of work, so I'm gonna have a little lunch. So I said, why not knock off the sandbar as a Disney dining quest? I got nachos, <laughs> excuse me. But I, instead of leaving them on the plate, I put them over into my lid because of the nachos right there. And then they give you a big thing of chili right there and cheese right there. And these are both very, very hot to touch. So I'm gonna pour them on here and make my nachos. Got me a Coke to drink. Enjoying the beautiful view. I'll show you my view right over here. That is just absolutely gorgeous. Not a bad way to spend a lunch. Let you guys take a look at the contemporary right back there during our tour that we are on. You guys know this is my favorite um, deluxe resort, so why not start here for deluxe resorts? I know everybody has their favorites, but not only being a cast member here and staying here many, many a time and having one of our most magical moments here at the Contemporary, it holds a special place in my heart. So I'm gonna get my lunch ready and I'll be right back. Got my nachos already, look at these. And it's big beefy chili, not beans, but beef chili. And then the soft cheese right there. And that was only half a cup of my cheese. Um, the one thing I do love if I'm sitting by the pool and they're getting ready to start their games, their pool games that are that the rec team does. It's really a really relaxing time. If you not have a park day, definitely plan pool days, resort hopping days. It's not always about the parks. I think you guys know that about us, so I am going to try some of these nachos. But first, let's do a thumbnail just in case I use this one. There we go. But you know I'll probably use a picture with the um, contemporary. Okay, I'm going to go straight in to the best chip I probably, oh, well, to the best chip I almost had. It dropped. Let's get, oh, there's one. I'm going to show you a little bit of everything. Oh, these are so messy. Mm, the chips are nice and thin, too. You can tell. Okay. There we go. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. The chips are nice and thin, so they're nice and crispy. And the chili is really good. I'm surprised. I wonder if I could have got a chili cheese dog. They just had regular dogs. I could have asked him for a chili cheese dog. You know me, always want to change something. But enjoying my nachos here. I want me and Michelle want to thank all of you folks that have joined us 
at our Traveling Around Disney family Facebook group. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We were so overwhelmed by the response we got with it. And what really makes us so proud to be have this chan- have this group for you guys on Facebook is all the interactions that our fellow family members, traveler families, are having with each other. It's not just me and Michelle. It's people talking to other people, people asking questions, where should I go, what should I do? And other people responding. That is exactly what that group was set up for. So thank you all that have joined our Traveling Around Disney Family Facebook group. And if you haven't already, head on over to Facebook after you watch this video and give us a go ahead and um, become a member over there also. So thank you guys so very much. Would also like to thank all of our fellow travelers here at Traveling Around Disney on our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being a fellow traveler. If you're not yet a fellow traveler, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down to the bottom to become a fellow traveler. Okay, those nachos are really good. I uh, just ran into a fellow traveler, wanted to take a picture with me. She didn't want to be on camera, but uh, nice meeting you today here at the Contemporary. So now let's head over to Bay Lake Tower. As we head over to Bay Lake Tower, right here you'll see all these blue chairs. That is right here by the um, silver Mickey that everybody wants to get their picture taken with. But right here is where they show the movies under the stars. They'll turn all these around. And this is where they'll put the um, screen. In fact, if you see this little RV anywhere around property, especially at resorts, that means there are characters out and about and no telling who you're going to run into. Okay, we are now entering Bay Lake Tower, which is a DVC resort. But the great artwork on the walls right here and right over here. And then, as we like to say, welcome home. This is the main lobby for the DVC um, building here, the Bay Lake Tower. So this is where all the DVC members and anyone staying in this building will come and check in right here. They also have a mail slot here and a refillable station as you're heading right down this hallway. And this is their community hall, which can be used by the contemporary guest also. And this is their operations right here. And any activities, anything going on right there. You'll be able to get all that information. Rental box. They have DVDs that you can rent for your rooms. Remember, and the DVDs, they are Deluxe Studios, one, two, and three bedrooms. And right off of the lobby is the beautiful courtyard of the Bay Lake Tower. I absolutely love the back. I know the front faces the Magic Kingdom, but you get some beautiful views from these rooms right here. But this is their back area. And like I said, all the games can be used by the um, contemporary guests also. Always make sure to look at all the florals around on the ground. You never know who you may see. And especially when you get up on the bridge right up here. It makes it even easier to see right over there. But they are absolutely gorgeous. It is a gorgeous day. Absolutely gorgeous. Would have been great for a park, but couldn't get a reservation for there. Travelers, I hope you have enjoyed our walk around Wednesday here at the Contemporary Resort. This is the beginning of our deluxe resort tours. And of course, why not start with the grand daddy of them all, the contemporary, my favorite deluxe resort. Next week, we'll be back to our regular Magic Kingdom walk around Wednesday because I happen to score two reservations next week for the Magic Kingdom. So we'll be doing Frontierland and then finishing up with Tomorrowland. So I hope you enjoyed this walk around Wednesday resort tour of the Contemporary. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Come on, come on. You can hear him up there. There it is. Let's go ahead and finish with that shot right there. And travelers, like we always say until next time, travel and adventure.